And we're live. Hey y'all. Shout out here. This is the Wilmores. This is my husband Jamel. How y'all doing? Okay. So I posted up a question June thirtieth about fitness. Read my question, baby. The question is, hey, Facebook family and friends, what are some of the questions you would like to ask my husband and I about fitness? Comment below, and we'll respond with an answer. So, so Katie kicked us off with our first question. Working out while pregnant, have you had any problems like sciatic nerve issues or pelvic pain you've had to deal with? If so, did you just power through it, or what did you do? Hey, Katie, teammate. So, while working out, I have not had sciatic nerve issues nor pelvic pain. I have dealt with sciatic um, nerve since I've been pregnant, um, which you cannot power through or work out with that. You, you got to give it a rest and deal with that. Pelvic pain, just like anybody that's pregnant, um, you definitely deal with the stretching of the ligaments uh, and your pelvic babies in there. So definitely is expanding. But interfering with my workout, I haven't dealt with that at all. Good question. All right, Buck. So he said, who benches more, me or Jamel? <laughs> Obviously, Jamel does. <laughs> Absolutely and relatively. Get it done. <laughs> anyway, okay. May Sanya. Go ahead, read that, baby. Says, hi, Shade. I do have a question. I just started working out, and I want to lose weight quick. Okay. So losing weight quick, I would say that's not something you want to do. It may not be sustainable. so Or healthy. Or healthy. So that weight didn't get there overnight. It's not going to leave overnight. So you should definitely change your lifestyle and make sure we're working into that. This is a loaded question here, so we're moving on. I started taking hydroxycut, but it makes me feel like I'm a kid with ADHD or like I'm on crack. Don't take it. <laughs> so too much. If you're feeling a little side effects from that, it's um, it's not supposed to be in there anyway. So. But if you feel like that's something you want to do, you can. But I do recommend just changing your lifestyle. Anyways, after I work out, I feel like I'm starving. I eat, and it defeats the purpose of working out. You definitely want to eat anytime you work out, before and after, at least 30 minutes before you work out. That way your body has something because you're, you're using all that energy while working out. Eating after, you just definitely want to make sure you're eating the right things. Right. But replenishing the muscles is definitely something you're going to need so you can get up and work out tomorrow without being too sore or too tired. Absolutely. So. I also want to know what's a good workout for weight loss plus toning. High intensity workouts are definitely going to be good. Something that's going to keep your heart rate up and still making sure you're incorporating strength training. Ladies, don't be afraid to get into that gym and push some iron. Um, you're not going to turn into a bodybuilder unless you eat and work out like that, which I doubt that's something you're doing. <laughs> so. Nicole Payne. What's up, sis? No. Uh, say, girl, does running, cycling faster, sprints um, help you burn fast, uh, fat faster? Excuse me. Belly fat in particular. No. It doesn't. But working out um, high intensity... Uh, does help burn a lot of calories um, a lot faster. So definitely what you're trying to do. Um, embedding strength training helps tone up and, and kill the body fat. What you want to add on? You cannot target where you lose the weight. You didn't choose where you put it on. You're not going to be able to choose where you take it off. Your body will do that. All you need to do is make sure you're burning calories. So you can go faster. That's going to burn more calories. You won't specifically do it in the in the in the belly fat area. Just for a lot of people that's talking about losing weight, that's that we're, we're reading along here. Um, definitely um, changing your diet plan and how you go about working out does make a huge difference. Everybody's at different levels and different body weights within their body. So, Shante, is it better to work out during the day or the night? It's just best to work out. Best to work out. Get it in when you can. Um, a lot of studies will show it's great to work out in the morning, get your metabolism started. It just depends on where you're at. If you don't have the time to do so in the morning, make sure you're still working out. So, just work out. Just work out. 
Lovely Gomez. I'm losing weight now, but now I want my body to take a specific form that I envision, but I almost never have the time to go to the gym. So what are good workouts for that? I can do at home or even involve my children in because I have to base my workout schedule around my kids. Hey, love. That is an awesome question for moms. Well, soon to be mommy myself. But definitely making time for yourself is a huge thing in fitness. For your mental and everything, just to have time alone. For home workout, workout, excuse me, for home workouts, definitely you can do jumping jacks, jump ropes, crunches, sit-ups, you know, squats. I would say, you know, try to find a time before the kids get up and, and work out. Or when the kids go to bed and find some time to just go ahead and 30 minutes to an hour um, if you're able to and, and get time to work out. Definitely, you know, Jamel and I um, always suggest to, if you're able to, to get into the gym and, and place kids club, uh, put, put your child in kids club if you need to for up to two hours. That way you can have time for yourself just to get away where it's just you time. What do you think? Of Those are all great things. Next question. Will you have any boot camps anytime soon from a reporter? Yes, we will be coming soon with the boot camp sometime this year in 2016. So <laughs> sometime this year. Yeah, will be happening soon. Frankie Cochran. Cousin, I struggle with belly fat. Oh, we got another targeting issue here. How can I flatten my tummy when crunches and dieting is not removing the fat totally? So we already went over this one. Mm -hmm. You cannot... You didn't choose where you put it on. You can't choose where you take it off. Just make sure you're working out hard and holistically over your whole body. So. Yeah. Shamika Murray. Shamika, what's up, Shamika? Uh, what's a good workout to get rid of the bat wings? And then she means by these right here. Um, also, to keep the flank areas on your sides becoming franks. So <laughs> them sides, them rolls, them belly rolls. Dieting would be my first suggestion first suggestion um, is to diet properly along with strength training and working the entire body. You can't just target one area and be done with that and, and say, I'm working that out. You need to make sure that your body, your upper body, your lower body, your midsection area is being able to be worked out and burning a lot of calories will help. Uh, and you will see definitely a, a difference in that. If you're not knowing how to do it by yourself, there's always personal trainers um, to go into or go into a gym just to check it out, classes. Those are all good things to go ahead and try to get into the work on those areas. Lachey, I want to lose some belly fat. Got another targeted question, so we have answered that. And Aisha also said I want to lose some belly fat as well. Okay. Arlen Brand. So, like I'm supposed to eat small meals throughout the day, but I often find myself not hungry or in the mood for anything. Should I turn to protein shakes or only eat when I'm hungry? Answer to that, you should continue to eat those small meals. Spread them out. Breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner. Make sure you're getting in your water at that time. But you also, even if you're not hungry, if you're scheduled to eat during that time, you should. What that's going to do is keep your metabolism running, keep your system on, keep it burning fat. Okay, oops, sorry. Yolanda Clay. Hey, because... Um what should I focus on beginning to work out and to lose weight um, when I go to the when we just started the first one? Go ahead. Yolanda Clay, what should I focus on beginning to work out again to lose weight? When I go to the gym, there are so many options available. Mm -hmm. I end up picking a bit of everything because I really don't know where to start to be effective. That, Yolanda, that's a really good question. I kind of answered that in the beginning, especially when you go inside a gym. It's really great to talk with somebody that's a personal trainer where you're able to go over your body, your body fat, um, do measurements, and allow them to give you a workout to actually see where you're at, um, to actually show you some equipment um, to so, help you out. So biblically, it says the people without a vision perish. So you want to start there. You want to get a starting point, mm -hmm. and you want to get a vision for what you want to do for yourself. Right. Seems like you may be wandering around the gym, so you don't want to do that. You want to get there, you want to get a starting point, you want to get your weight, you want to get your body fat percentage, you want to get some circumference measurements, and you want to pick what you want to be. Absolutely. Now, once you pick what you want to be, 
if you don't know how to get there, like she said, mm -hmm. definitely go find a personal trainer, a professional that's going to guide you in that way. So, those are all the questions those, we had. Those there. are the questions. I got some questions that some people may not ask. All right? Like, baby, somebody come to the gym and they can't afford personal training. You can't afford personal training? I would definitely say get into a group exercise class. Um, those are tailored toward the masses, but you will be doing something. You will have instruction, and you will be burning calories. Right. Even if you can't afford personal training, you can always ask their advice. Now, there's a difference between advice and personal training. So right. just approach that with respect to their business also. Right, absolutely. And I'll add on, with the classes that you take, please do not feel intimidated by going into a class thinking, I'm a beginner. I've never done this before. It's always great just to step in and build your way up to that. You don't have to be a professional to take them classes. They're for everybody. Fitness is for everybody since that's the case. Definitely, you guys, it's a wrap. Um, we pretty much answered all the questions. If you guys have any questions, please comment below for me and Jamel to answer them. Um, whether it be diet plans, definitely inbox me. I definitely will let him know when it comes to diet plans but anything concerning fitness or anything with pregnancy workouts or just fitness period we would love to answer them you got anything to say baby that's it all right thank you guys for your comments bye y'all